Hi everyone, this is Rachel Gokloski with Cooking with Mrs. G. And today we are going to talk about opium lettuce or spiny lettuce. And this is a wild lettuce that grows um, here in New England and in many parts of the United States. And we are in the summer months. This has yellow flowers. And after the flowers mature, you see they go to seed and they look si similar to uh, dandelion flowers when they mature, except they're a lot smaller. And you can see the very large um, seeds. They, they're large compared to how big the parasols are. Okay. This is a great herb for pain management. Now there's no actual opium in opium lettuce, but when you um, take off one of the leaves, you'll see that a milky white latex emerges and that is where the pain killing medicine is. It's in that milky white latex. It shouldn't be a yellow latex. If it is, it's probably not the right type of wild lettuce. Notice that the midrib on the leaf is a lighter green and that the leaf has lobes. This is a really, really, really big specimen. Usually you don't see one uh, 15 feet tall. Usually, uh, you know, I, I see them around four feet tall, but, um, you know, we're in, in a really rich, um, in, in an area that has really rich soil. Okay, so another way to identify it, spiny lettuce, is to look at the underside of the leaf midrib. And you'll see that there's a bunch of spines or hairs on it. The underside of the leaf also has a lot of prominent veins, each with um, spiny little spines on it. Okay. So how do you take advantage of the medicine in this plant? Well, you can chop up the leaves. The entire aerial part of the plant can be used. You can chop up the stem. Um, you could chop up the leaves, chop up the stalk, and dry it. and you know, store it in a jar and then you can make tea from it. You're going to need a hot water extraction like tea or you can also make tinctures from this to take advantage of the, the um, pain relieving qualities of this plant. Again, this is opium lettuce or spiny lettuce and this would be the time of the year when the sap is running to collect it for medicine. Again, this is Rachel Gokloski from Cooking with Mrs. G. You can find me on Facebook cooking with Mrs. G and on Etsy. I sell my wild, wild crafted items on Etsy. So that would be cooking with Mrs. G on Etsy. Have a good one.